2024, the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee, where will you be? It, uh, it depends on who the nominee is. I'll be here if it's somebody not named Trump. You won't show up if it's not if Yeah, it's I'm Trump. not interested in participating in that, no. Even in Wisconsin. Even in Wisconsin. Oh, Good former, to hear that. Yeah. Former Republican House Speaker Paul Ryan says he won't attend the 2024 GOP convention if Donald Trump is the party's nominee, no matter what. This, it it this, looks like, yeah. can I just say, it just looks so easy. I mean, it doesn't seem easy, hard. Right? He, just, look, yeah. he was able to just say, just say it. you know, what he doesn't think is good for the party. He just said it. Well, and, and, just came and, out of his and mouth. let's just be very clear here. Why don't we just continue talking about what we're, Jen Psaki, let's just say it. If you if, if you get behind Donald Trump, and I know a lot of Republicans, establishment Republicans mm -hmm. who hate Donald Trump, but they say if he's the party nominee, I'm going to get behind him. Well, that's you, 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 you would be saying that about Mussolini? I don't know. If the guy said <laughs> I'm the new Hitler, like like Donald Trump has already said that that he trusts an ex KGB agent who is a war criminal who sees the United States as his sworn enemy more than he trusts men and women in the intelligence community who risk their lives every day to keep us safe. He's already called the, the, the worst invasion in Europe since World War II genius. This is genius. Paul Ryan simply doing the right thing oh, by saying wonderful. that. Oh, that's wonderful. He calls yeah. this invasion where... Hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians are slaughtered. He says it's genius, wonderful, savvy, and says he trusts Vladimir Putin, uh, the man who's committing all these war crimes, more than he trusts our intel community. So, yes, what Paul Ryan said should be saluted. But I just wonder, all so of these easy. respectable Republicans mm -hmm. that are like, oh, I don't like him, but I'll get behind him if he's at the party. What does that even mean? I, what does that I, mean when you know you've got a guy <laughs> who is more sympathetic towards Vladimir Putin than a rank and file FBI agent who's risking her life every day, every night? And Joe, even if that doesn't move you, which it should, if you are a sane person who loves the country and loves the country we live, we live in and is patriotic, but it hasn't moved them for the last few years, let's remember, he lost. His agenda lost in November. His election-denying agenda lost. So the notion of just blindly following him or blindly saying you're going to support him doesn't even necessarily make sense politically. It is it's, it's fear of the base. It's very much fear of the base that we're seeing here. It reminds me a lot, actually, of the NRA and how the NRA mm -hmm. still has this huge power over a range of elected officials in Washington, despite the fact that gun reform legislation is supported by 70, 80, 90 percent of the public. It is it is this fear of the base. But yes, Paul Ryan, good for him. He has no more you know what's to give. And maybe he will be a person who helps lead some to say the same thing. We will see. Well, and, and, and and when you even talk about the NRA uh, uh, really legislation, sometimes 60, 70 percent of the NRA members support yeah. legislation that the NRA and the Republican Party kills. Mika, mm. It's just, again, it's insanity. It's not even worrying about the base because 60 percent of Republicans don't want Donald Trump to run. It's ju it's just just fearing your sh your own shadow. You have to wonder what's going on. Uh